Hi, my name is Carl Hoppe. I'm the Extension Livestock Specialist here at the Carrington Research Extension Center. And I'd like to visit with you about our Dakota Feeder Calf Show project that we have. It's a project where we feed cattle from finish to finish um, here at the Carrington Research Extension Center for producers. Uh, we start this project in October and it's been going on for 25 or so years. Uh, we've been feeding for the, the Dakota Feeder Calf Show for 21 years and this is our 21st year that we just finished. We brought cattle in on October 19th of 2019. We sold cattle on May 20th of 2020. The cattle came in at around 600 pounds. They went out at almost 1350 pounds. They performed quite well. They had 3.3 average daily gain during the feeding plays, and that includes the dead cattle. Our feed cost of gain was 46 cents. Overall profitability this year was 83 cents. We had some issues this year with the Dakota Feeder Calf Show, and it dealt around with the coronavirus. Because packing plants uh, had to shut down and start back up, one of the main features of our project here is to collect carcass data for producers, and this year we were unable to do that. We got the cattle dead, we produced a profit around $80 a head, $83 a head, and uh, um, it's good to know that even with the poor prices that we had, the marketing that we did with these cattle actually worked profitable for the producers. This is a part of the Dakota Feeder Calf Show project that's done in Turtle Lake. There's an exhibit that day on October 19th. Next year will be October 17th, it's a Saturday, and uh, you're encouraged to be a part of the project to learn about your cattle and how they perform. So here's some insight on this year's project. The best cattle, top pen of five cattle, we take an average of those cattle and the profitability on those cattle was $152 a head. On the other hand, we look at the bottom five groups of cattle that were consigned and they averaged $53 a head profit. In other words, there's $100 a head spread between the top performing calves and the calves that aren't performing as well. So, if we look at average daily gain, the heavier, the top five pens of calves, the average was a half a pound greater average daily gain than lower one. So feedlot performance is important. This year we didn't collect carcass data, but carcass data is very important too. It's a great producer project to learn more about how your calves perform that you raise on farm. Mm -hmm.